Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to apply a depth of field effect. Depth of field allows us to focus in on a character or object or multiple objects while leaving the surrounding areas to appear unfocused. You'll see this a lot in film, especially with close-ups of characters. You'll have a close-up of a character while everything in the background appears blurry. This provides focus on what you want the audience to see and gives it a film quality. So if you're looking to add that element to your cartoon, you can do it really easily with Anime Studio. First, I'll show you what I have for my layout here. I have two characters on screen with a foreground and a background. And if I click my orbit camera button and just rotate it, you can see that. We have the two characters in the foreground and we have the hills in the background. It's a very, very simple layout, but it will work for this lesson. So in order to enable depth of field, go to File, Project Settings, and click Depth of Field Enabled. Now you have three options here, Focus Distance, Focus Range, and Max Blur Radius. Focus distance is the perfect focus for your animation. Whatever you have at this distance will appear to be in focus. It will appear to be clear. The focus range are objects that won't be quite as in focus. Yet they're still in the focus range, so they won't be as blurry as they could be. And finally, you have the max blur radius. So that the higher you put this, the more blurry your out-of-focus stuff appears. So once you have those options set, and you can always go back and play around with these when you want, click OK. Now, in order to see this play out, we need to render the file. So if you go to File, Preview, or Control-R if you wish, you'll see this whole thing play out. We have our characters now in shot, and they appear clear. The ground appears a little bit blurry. That's because it's in the focus range. And then you have the hills, which are completely blurred out because they're out of that focus range. And that's why they appear blurry. And that's basically all there is to it. It's a really simple thing to do. And you can just you know, reposition your objects if needed, if you need to get that perfect focus in play, and you can also adjust the project settings to also get that perfect focus. Also, this might not be the best example because I'm not sure if you would completely blur out the hills like I did for an example like this, but if you were to take your camera and position it more like this and zoom in, on the bird like that, and then render it. You can see now that something like this would make more sense because you have a close-up and you have the hills blurred out. So that's just a feature to keep in mind as you continue to work through Anime Studio. I have more tutorials coming up, so stay tuned.